Hello, neighbors and friends. Thank you for joining me. My name is Damian Stewart, but everyone calls me Damia. I'm here as a candidate running for school committee representing Ward 4 in Northampton. A little over 20 years ago, my husband and I visited friends in Northampton and immediately fell in love with the city, the vibrant downtown with its shops and restaurants, the arts and music scene, and the community where people could be themselves and not only be accepted, but be welcomed. When we saw how highly rated the schools were, we knew it was where we wanted to plant ourselves, grow some roots, and build our lives. We set up a small business that operated out of our living room at first and focused on creating friendly, accessible graphic design that helped our clients communicate clearly. While our business has moved to Main Street, we've lived in the same house ever since. Our neighborhood is a mix of lifetime residents and newer families that have moved in over the years, and almost everyone is connected to the Northampton schools. Either they went there when they were young, their kids went to Northampton schools, or their children are students now. When our older child started kindergarten in 2010, there were three other kids on our block who started at Bridge Street with him, and this past June, they all graduated together from Northampton High School. Our younger child followed two years later and was with her brother at Bridge Street, JFK, and then at NHS. So why am I running for school committee? First, I feel compelled to give back, and one of the ways I can do that is by serving on the school committee. Second, to help ensure that all of our students have access to great educational experiences and opportunities. Our teachers bring selfless dedication and our school committee should be similarly dedicated in supporting them, celebrating them, and by removing obstacles whenever possible. We need to be forward thinking and willing to work together to prepare our students for a world we can barely imagine and for jobs, some of which don't even exist yet. Problem solving, self-motivation, and the ability to adapt quickly will be some of the most important skills we can help them learn. We also need to make sure that every student can fully participate in academics, athletics, activities, and trips, regardless of financial circumstances. That means building relationships that can financially sustain our curriculum and programs without relying on tax overrides. Our students will be able to go out into the world ready to innovate and ready to succeed wherever the road takes them, at community colleges, four-year colleges, and in the trades. They also might not do any of those things, but rather will dedicate themselves to service in other ways. Third, as a school committee member, I will facilitate open and honest communication throughout the community. This type of communication is needed and can benefit us all in many ways. It builds trust. When people feel seen and heard and know you are taking their issues seriously, they can begin to know you have their best interest at heart. They will come to you more often and form genuine connections. It builds consensus. I will listen to different voices and opinions. When everyone has a voice in the matter, they can come to an agreement quickly and efficiently. And finally, it brings awareness, transparency, and accountability. When you build a solid system of communication, more and more people will know what is happening at the school, whether it's an open house, a musical performance, or a change to the grading system. That awareness in itself can build trust. Being transparent is a form of vulnerability, and in that vulnerability, we can be honest, find strength, and hold each other accountable to the high standards our community holds. When we are transparent and accountable, we are creating safer spaces for students physically, mentally, and emotionally. If elected, I pledge to work together to listen, to organize, to solve problems, to support teachers and their union, and to be a strong advocate for students in their right to read what they want, to believe what they want, and to express themselves freely. Through working together, we can achieve great things. I invite you to connect with me online and in person. I ask for your support and for your vote on November 7th. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.